So you found a lump on your dog and you're terrified it's cancer. Fortunately, not every lump and bump is a reason for concern. I'm Lyndall from Vetster, and in this video, we'll help you figure out if the lump you found is a harmless skin tag or something more serious. As usual, all of the information in this video has been carefully reviewed by leading Vetster veterinarians. Okay, let's dive in. Finding a lump on your dog can be alarming. It's hard to know whether it's nothing to worry about, like a skin tag or a sign of skin cancer. Skin tags are common and usually harmless, but they can sometimes be mistaken for more serious growths like cancer. Dogs, especially as they age, often develop different types of skin growths. While many are benign, malignant tumors can resemble harmless lumps, so it's important to check with your vet if you're unsure. A canine skin tag typically matches your dog's skin color, feels soft, and has a stalk-like or teardrop shape. These tags are usually hairless and don't cause discomfort unless injured. However, it's crucial not to confuse skin tags with moles, ticks, or nipples, as they look different. The cause of skin tags isn't fully understood, but friction from collars, harnesses, or skin folds, along with overactive fibroblast cells, may contribute to their development. Senior dogs in certain breeds, like Cocker Spaniels, Poodles, and Schnauzers, are more prone to skin tags. There are different types of skin cancers and tumors that vary dramatically in appearance. Tumors can develop in fat cells, glands, or hair follicles. And while benign tumors are common, not all growths are harmless. When petting or grooming your dog, watch for signs like growths that change in size, shape, or color. Those that bleed or don't heal, or lumps that differ from your dog's usual skin tone, you cannot tell if a lump is cancerous from looking at it, so it's very important to consult your vet. Not all lumps are cancerous. Dogs can also develop benign tumors such as lipomas, which are soft fatty lumps, sebaceous adenomas, which are small white or pink growths, and histiocytomas, which are red button-like lumps commonly found on younger dogs. Although benign, these growths can still cause problems if they grow too large, are in difficult areas, or become injured or infected. Common types of skin cancers include squamous cell carcinoma, raised, irritated, red, and often ulcerated lump on the skin, mast cell tumors, raised soft to hard lump within the skin that can be itchy, malignant melanoma, raised, often ulcerated lumps that can be gray or pink. It is not fully understood how dogs develop skin cancer but it is likely due to multiple factors, like UV radiation, exposure to chemicals, certain viruses, and genetics. Some dogs are simply more prone to certain cancers due to their breed or genetic makeup. If you spot a lump on your dog, it's always best to have a vet check it out, especially if the lump is changing rapidly or if your dog seems unwell. Vets can diagnose skin growths using fine needle aspiration, where a sample of cells is taken for examination or through a biopsy or tissue sample after removal. This helps determine whether a lump is benign or cancerous. If it's cancerous, your vet may suggest further treatment, such as surgery, radiation, or chemotherapy. Early diagnosis can make all the difference. If your dog develops frequent skin tags, consult your vet for advice. If you have any questions or concerns about your dog's health, visit Vetster to connect with a licensed veterinarian online anytime from the comfort of your home. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more expert veterinary advice. We'll see you in the next video.